what are links so just uh, links are nothing but uh, links are tags again so i say link is a tag which when used will connect us with an external website or an internal page or a, an area within the same page <clears throat> so what exactly is the link like say uh, anything is a link uh, say www.tooluslive.com is a link actually like when I when I place whenever I mean you, you have come to the task from your email by clicking on a button the button is again a link uh, some may have come from Facebook like you know I have posted a link onto it so it's a link so it's a link between Facebook and my website between Gmail and my website so link is nothing but which is a connector between different websites like as the name itself says HTML when HT stands for hypertext and hypertext as we discussed is linking the web <coughs> So links are used, you know, usually to connect an external website or internal pages. Now coming to internal pages, internal pages are those pages. Say, for instance, if you go to uh, Facebook, let's take the example of Facebook again. You click on your uh, friend's profile. So your friend's profile is actually a link, but it's a link inside the Facebook website. <coughs> like you, you know, you click on your friend, say, uh, my name, say Sagar. You click on Sagar. But you, what, what, where does it take you to? It's still in Facebook, but it's an internal page. Like it's, it is located in a different location inside the Facebook server. So that's that's what an internal page means. Like you know, uh, traversing within the same website. Like some some websites may have about us page. Some websites may have a contact us page. So all these pages are within the same domain name. So those pages are called internal pages. And coming to the area within the same page, like say, uh, whenever you go to a website, you will find like go to top, like you're on the same page. But sometimes, you know, if the page is really big, you want to go to the top real quick, then you just click on it. So it takes to an area. Yeah, <coughs> maybe I have not, I have not seen uh, Facebook Mumbai. I only use Facebook in. A laptop or my tablet so <clears throat> I don't know much about it or yeah, maybe something like that like you know it it links you to the same page I don't think Facebook mobile Facebook mobile is an application it's not a web page so it's a different scenario again but uh, coming to <clears throat> coming to the internal page like uh, say some some websites may have like a uh, frequently asked questions tab wherein oh yeah take take this classic example Wikipedia now you go to Wikipedia. Uh, as soon as the page opens, say type a topic, and you know, as soon as the page opens, there is an index for the topics. Like it, they will show you the index of the topics first. Then below that, for every index labeled there is a topic again. Like whenever you click on that particular link or index, index content, it takes you to the relevant uh, you know area. Like say for instance, uh, take America. If you, if you search for America on uh, Wikipedia, there are different sections like history of America, uh, demographics, languages, economy. So these are all again internal links. Like whenever you click, these are the index. Whenever you click on it, click on it, it takes you to the relevant area. So it's, an, it's like linking in the same page, but to a different area. <coughs> links. I'll uh, just uh, type in the general structure. Link tag is called anchor tag. Uh, that's the reason it starts with A. Anchor, like, you know, it's, it's just like, I don't know the terminology why anchor and link are linked. But link tag is actually called anchor tag. Uh, that one is gone. Fine. And then href. Href is like a reference. See, if you click on this link tag, where should it take you to? So that is href here. Like for instance, uh, hi Datum. You here? Cool. 
uh, Hushif is a reference where this link should you know uh, go to when I click on it. So for instance, I say HTTP www dot to those live outcome. This is my website. So I say uh, then there is one more attribute. We talked about this an attribute and value. So this href is an attribute. Target is an attribute again. Uh, there are <coughs> three types of targets, but specifically we use blank. If I say blank again, these are all recorded. So I'm just reviewing that. No need to get confused. Uh, as soon as you know these videos get go online, you can just understand. If you don't understand, come back to me. Ask the question. Hey, I did not understand this point. I'm here to answer all your questions. That's what today we have promised. Yeah, we do that. So target is underscore blank means it says sometimes what happens if you click your, uh, on a on your friend's profile in Facebook, it opens in the same page. So that means like open in the same page. It's a default behavior of a link. But what if I want to open it in another tab? Let's say as soon as you click join class, okay, here in Tutorial Slide, what it does, it takes you to your new tab, okay. So there I have written target equal to underscore blank. So target equal to underscore blank will take you take you to that link that opens it in a new tab instead of in the same tab. So that's where we use target equal to underscore blank. The default behavior is open to the same page. Okay. Uh, then there is again title. Title is again like I mean we are discussing images too. Title is just for the reference. Like whenever I hover on the image or hover on the link, uh, the title appears over there just to uh, uh, notify you guys like what is this link about. Instead of clicking it and knowing it, I can just hover on it. Like put my mouse on it and just know about it. Let's say title equal to uh, this is uh, to this live website. Oops. Then there is ID. ID is like identifier. Uh, so like uh, we we see a lot of ID IDs in uh, CSS in styling and in uh, jQuery and in JavaScript. So as of now, ID is not that relevant. It's just there for the sake of being there. So when when we go into the styling and the JavaScript and jQuery, we'll be seeing more of IDs and classes. Uh, there are also these are also like these are attributes which are optional, like you can use it or not. But to to have some specific functionality or to have some specific styling, we do use IDs and classes with every tag. Every tag we can use IDs and classes. Even we can use title. So yeah, ID is not relevant uh, now. I say I just type here, not relevant here. So again, here I say to to slide. Now you can see this link is uh, sorry. This tag has an open uh, has an open here and it goes here. So whatever the two tools live I have written between the between the opening tag and the closing tag, we we, told, we, we discuss about this. This is the element of the tag. So like uh, whenever I type this in a uh, let me let me share the screen first. I am sharing the screen here. Uh, so I'll be going off the class. I'll be working on my uh, my screen. So I'll be back after every you know, five or ten minutes. So that if you got any questions, just do not hesitate. Put it here. So well, I'm sharing my screen here. Oops, it got stuck. Can you hear me, Sandeep? Now, this was happening with this particular application. I don't know. Oops, this is taking a lot of time. Let's see, Sandeep, can you hear me?
Now, yes. Oh, oh, oh. it's going. Yeah, I guess it works now. Yeah, it started. Cool. It has taken a while, I guess, for that to be here. So, I mean, I may end the class like uh, a little early because uh, uh, good news is that I'm, I'm starting another website uh, pretty soon. Uh, we're going live. It's called Hexatrip. It's about we are we are going to tar industry. Like I have a friend of mine, we both are starting this. Uh, you know, it's it's like a, a more uh, what you say challenging for us. Like we are we are going into travel domain, which is a very huge industry. We want to uh, at least capture one percent of the people who are using these travel domains. So yeah, we are going live. Maybe uh, we'll go live on Monday. The background work has been done. We have uh, decided on the idea, and I'll be working on the website. I'll be developing and designing the website, and the other colleague of mine, <coughs> he'll be working on the functionality part, more like you know the complex functionality. And at the same time, I'll be working on you know my uh, marketing too. Like you know, I'm I'm more like a marketing guy for this project as well. I'll be coding too. But not much of coding. So yeah, that's the update from me. Uh, so it's gonna be a very busy weekend for me. Yeah. Let's see what's happened here. No, there is there are classes. Who said there are no classes? Yeah, I have 24 hours. So, you know, I, as I told you in the first class, like I only sleep like four hours a day. The rest, like I'll be working. I have to work at office. I uh, gotta come back home, work on to this live. I gotta, I gotta, you know, prepare these notes, then send emails. I'm the only guy who's doing everything. Like even in the marketing part, yeah, uh, even the marketing part, I'll be doing the marketing part too for to this live. And I have one more website, like which I launched some six months back. It's called Expense Book. And I'll be working on that to like you know I take input from the users, modify it. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. But still, like I feel this today's life is the core of you know uh, my whole developing thing. Like I I feel like today's life this has the potential to go to the end of the world. So. I don't like yeah. Let's I, I just concentrate on today's life. The rest just other things. Yeah, let's see. Like uh, this is just a start. I don't want to jump into you know uh, heights at the start. Let's go like slowly, slowly, slowly until we reach a point like you know where we, wherein we have a lot of tutors. We have our own application uh, done. You know, it's like a complete office, a complete startup. So that's that's a goal for me. Like you know, that that may happen in six or eight months. Let's see what happens. But this thing here thing went. Really? What, what do you mean by that? like you know receiving? The screen share and working at us like uh, yes. Let me start it again. <laughs> 